Guys, I'm Sumita Kareer and move over flagships as the fan editions are here. I'm talking of the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE, which is a scaled down version of the premium S20 series. But is this actually just a trimmed down version in terms of performance? And is it worth the hefty price tag? Here are four key points that I really, really liked about the phone. Number one is design and display. Now with the Samsung S20 FE, it's the display that takes the cake. Just look at the color reproduction and of course the marvelous looking 6.5 inches panel. The viewing angles and of course colors are amazing. And of course it has tiny bezels which only means that viewing area is more and your overall content viewing experience is great. It's got six different colors and in fact has some really, really good colors like lavender. Along with that, the 120 hertz panel makes switching between apps, um, you know, from playing games and all of that buttery smooth. And uh, I think in terms of the looks department, it performs very, very well and fits in my palm well as well. So if you talk about the cameras, it's got a three camera setup at the back, which is protruding just a bit. You have the 12 megapixel wide angle camera, 8 megapixel telephoto camera and 12 megapixel ultra wide camera. We were really, really happy with the results and the picture quality and color reproduction. Uh, and it has in fact retained the single take feature as well. The 32 MP selfie camera hasn't disappointed either guys. Now let's talk about the battery size. Well, it's got a 4500 mAh of battery size. There's a USB cable uh, that will get attached to it. The USB port is here and uh, 25 watt fast charging also this phone has. So basically it's going to last you for more than just a day. Day, day and a half is how much it'll last. Performance. Well, it runs on Exynos 990 and then as far as storage is concerned, you've got a 6 and 8 GB RAM, 128 GB and 256 GB of internal storage and it's got an IP68 water rating as well so it can withstand minor splashes as well. So flagships with hefty price tags have given way for fan editions like this one which are slightly toned down versions of the flagship phones but retain almost the same features. So guys, what do you think of this phone? Do you like it? Have you bought this? Have any of your friends bought this phone? If yes, please, please then get in touch with me and let me know your thoughts about this phone. This is Sovita Kareer signing off.